<clears throat> so and um, <clears throat> huh? No. So, um, like I said, um, we're gonna talk today about the apocalypse, and I think everyone um has his ideas, everyone has his thoughts. Uh, um, I said I told you very clear on January, February, what will happen uh, in the United States about the weathers snowing and all these kinds of things. And like the Mwanda is, he told, he said very clear and everything, what he said is also happening, but that's not bad. I mean, this will be not uh, that what we're going to talk about today. It will be that what we're going to talk about today. It's the end times, the real end times where we are going into and uh, what we can do against it and et cetera, et cetera. So I will give you some plans, some ideas and um, yes. But anyway, I um, we're going to go back to the school because um, it is very important to learn about the, to control the elements, to control, uh, um, you know, um, to understand what the most tells you before something happens, what you can do to pray for others depends on which depends on also which kinds of uh, um, elements you are born into. Some of us are fire, some of us are water, some of, of us are air. And um, also when depends on if you are someone that is blessed in, um, there are some people that are blessed uh, if they do the right prayers to receive money. There are some other that are blessed to heal. There are other people that are blessed to receive uh, messages from the Most High. Um, there are some others that are, they are blessed to, you know, to give good examples or uh, a good, 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 good advices and stuff like that. And uh, this is what I'm preparing now. And uh, my intro will be here. It's not done. Uh, the intro is not done. But this with my intro, I'm still working on it with someone, and this person is it's not easy. <laughs> how it will look like i'm working on the rest so it's about it's about preparing ourselves for um very very bad times and uh, but preparing ourselves spiritually learning as much we can it uh this means um it's not like a, a less uh it's not like only giving people videos about the lessons but really creating a school um creating a school where people um where they can subscribe into the school and uh, where they can really uh, um weekly well, like twice or three times a week um entering the school attend the school and learn about all those practices until they know what they have to do because first of all we're gonna we're gonna find out what kinds of um what kind of uh um, element this person belongs to and then we're going to work on his 
element. So um, you can't choose your element, okay? Your element depends on when you are born and those kinds of things, okay? Uh, do we have questions? Okay, very good. Great, it's always better like this. So, uh, good. Um, Yes. Um, why do I do I want to speak about the end times? Um, I will tell you directly. Um, you know, um, you know, the Most High. Um, he speaks to his people. Huh? That what we see and know, it's mostly not that what the world knows. And even if they know, they do not have an answer or an idea what they can do against it. And uh, that's the, this is where the problem starts. Okay, we cannot. Um, wait until the problem is the front of our door and then we start um, to, to move. No, this is wrong. We have to understand the times and we have to respect the times. We have to respect the most High's judgment. Yeah. And that's why he said, my people will hear my voice. Yeah. Sometimes I do not go outside and say certain things because there are some ministries if they used to hear everything that I say prophetic, then they would go outside day and also do the same and say it comes from them. That's why it's very egoistic. I have to say we're clear because uh, normally uh, I should be like that. I should go out and just blah, 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 blah. Um, world, it will happen like this, but uh, uh, it's, uh, it's, it's also bad for my marketing if I do that. Yeah, It's really, really bad. And also it's, it doesn't sound like me, you know, if I, go out there and start crying, you know, oh, pack your things, you know, and, uh, and that's why we have to be a little bit wiser here. But the most I definitely prepared something. And I just want to show you some photos. Um, so here you can see my screen. Um, so let us go to Beula. Where is Beula? Where is the team Beula? Zack. So now we are going to. Uh, so, um, what's the name? Uh, Google Drive. Okay, here's Drive, Google, sign in. Do I have to? Verifies you. No. Uh, she gave me the, the, the password. How can I verify it's me? It's, I'm already inside. Uh, so. So I'm writing here right now. Um, they changed the they changed the requirement for COVID, uh, so she can't fly. But yeah, all good. <laughs> Everything is harder now. Mm. Let's start with the movie uh, that I have prepared, and then we're gonna go to <clears throat> that. What I wanted to show you. So um, we're gonna watch this movie here and um, talk a little bit about it. This is another one of my translations of the Spanish professor of history and theology, Damian Galeron. The title of this audio is Events to Come for 2021-2022. From now on, I will be warning people that what's coming is very hard, very, very hard. As I'm specialized in history, I will be commenting on events that are now affecting our world. I receive information from American and Russian intelligence agencies. They give me information so that I may give it out in my classes. The information I receive comes from the very highest level within these intelligence services than you can imagine. The information I now have concerns three processes that are going to happen. These three processes will be practically continuous. In other words, there will be hardly any break between them. The first one we will live through 
is a blackout. Suddenly, we will be all at home, reading or on the internet, and the light will go out. Even after three to four hours, we'll still not come back. This time, the light will be out for months. There will be no electricity, no internet, no telephones. There will be nothing. There will be no distribution of foodstuffs. Everything will be paralyzed. So <clears throat> let me let me just show you my face. Ah! Are you not preoccupied? Huh? No are worries. You, are you not what? Yeah, because it's that it did not happen. It happened here for a short time in Angola. I was in Angola, they shut down Facebook and uh, uh, you know Instagram and uh, those things, you know, WhatsApp. This was this was horror, horror, you know. People, people, people try to call me and go, oh, it's, it's over. So I was like, you see? And now they're talking about the blackout. It's like an, it's like an, an, an impulse, yeah? An electric impulse, um, e, uh, EMP or something like that. Um, <clears throat> sister, brothers and sisters, I want to, I, I really have to tell you the truth, you know? Um, always when these kinds of things happens to us, you know, the most I always tell us one thing. Do someone know what he say? Prepare. Flee to the mountains. Oh, yeah. the mountains. Flee to the mountains. Um, the problem that we have here is all this pandemic or all the things that is happening in this end times, who is suffering? Those who already live in those mountains, villages, they live from, from, from animals, from fishing. They live from, you know, they have also some, you know, they have also some electricity, some, 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 some gas, or they, they have some gasoline, I don't know, some, they used to have some, 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 some methods uh, how they can uh, burn, do, do, do some fire. They have some huts. No. Yeah. yeah, definitely. But it also says, doesn't it also say the ones that will suffer is the one that doesn't believe in the most high and follow his commandments? Those are the ones that oh, will this is perish. We're talk, we talking about judgment day. Judgment day, judgment will come to everybody. But the problem that we have here, uh, Sister Cynthia, is um <clears throat> does it really affect everyone i mean when now when we don't have now electricity everywhere it will definitely uh, be a problem for all of us but we have some people yeah and i will i have to tell you clear we have some people and even the europeans and um, Chi some chinese they have also some 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 huts some houses every, somewhere where they have some 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 generators or whatever what prepared for such problems, for such problems. But what will you do if this affects you now? If this happens from in the next minute, you see, these are the problems that we have. You see, um, when when people in all Africa, because I will have to take Africa as an example, if they have, if they suffer hunger. If the people in Africa suffer hunger and, and, and then they, they have a pandemic or whatever, what you can go a couple of uh, kilometers uh, further, you will see the people are eating and, 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 and having fun and having their club there, and young people are, are having food. How can that be? Can someone explain? In the villages, they don't have these kinds of problems like, oh, we have no electricity here now. Uh, the, 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 the water is poisoned, <laughs> you know, no air, no gas. Hey, I am not lying to you. I know it sounds weird, but this is the full truth. The people in the village, they have also an alarm clock. If something happens uh, in somewhere else, it will be also warned. Yeah, and you can ask if you have some people that used to live in Africa, you know, if something happens, 
Yeah, they already they, they are warned exactly in the same time. And then they sit together. And then they used to, when 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 it is something like a war or something like that, they disappear. They have some secret places where they go. Even in the forest, there are also some other secret places where they will go and no one will find them. When the people in the city, um, you have different kinds of people in the city when they suffer hunger. It's not the same thing in the village. Yeah, they can't suffer hunger like that. That's why you have many people today, they, all of them want to live in the, in the cities, but they're all suffering together over there. And you see one family, they used to have, they used to, you know, they, to, 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 they used to eat one, one or two fishes with five people. This happens in, in Africa. That's not a lie. Because, because it costs a lot of money. But if you go to the villages, the same fish that cost uh, a five dollar, it costs there now only one dollar. Where we go, people must prepare themselves to live to, to stop the European Eurocentric lifestyle. And to prepare, people must prepare to live like a farmer, like someone that, like a gold hunter, somewhere in the, in the nowhere. And preparing these places as good as possible. I know it sounds weird. You can go and uh, do fishing, uh, like uh, putting um, like putting a lot of fish somewhere so that they can grow. Fishes will never die. Then you can go put some other types of fish if you don't like this fish. You can go and have a farm with, with cows, uh, 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 goats and whatever. So, so no one has to die here. But believe me, if lockdowns are coming and problems are coming, people must be on the right place. They must have do the right choices. Um, I will give you an example before we continue with the video. Um, there was a very nice thing that happened when the lockdown started, when the people was chasing for the toilet paper like gold, there is another thing that happened in Europe. Europe, Spain, Italy, um, the, 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 the countries of the Balkans, Bosnian and all these uh, countries, Yugoslavian. Do you know who, who feeded them? the Chinese, they had no food no more. They went broke. Brazil, people did not die because of uh, the pandemic. People die of hunger. We are going to the Hunger Games. Did you ever saw what, what people do in hunger? <laughs> Can you imagine? Three days, no food. The father will be like, my son, don't worry. I'm coming back. By the way, you go. Oh, I did not eat. No worry. I will find food for you. <laughs> He's going to go out and meet the other neighborhood. And now it's time to hunt the witches. Definitely, there is no witch outside, but they will find one. They will find someone to eat. <laughs> you see? So humans are exactly the same like animals. That what we're doing is surviving all the time. This is what we have done all the time. But you can go back to the pandemic when it started. You can see what happened to Europe. And there's another place that was, that had different kinds of problem. What place was it? Latin America and Southern America. It was hit, no food. 
People start going up and down, up and down. They met themselves in the midst and the one have asked the other group, one group to the other, where do you go? They say, what do you know? I came from the north. Hey, don't go there, hunger. And the other one, don't go to the south. We are dying there too, you know? So where do you want to go? You can ask everyone in the Caribbean. You can go to Haiti, you can go to Jamaica, you can go to, to Brazil or uh, to the, to the Don Rep, yeah, the, the Democratic Republic, Republic and all them. Hunger! Still now they have the same problems. It has never stopped. And their, the president is saying, <laughs> The president is saying, yo, everything is okay. And the people are like, no, we are dying of hunger. Why do they die hungry? How can that be? And how can that be that they also have no water and all these kinds of things? You will found it in the mountains. You have fountains. You have, you have food. You know, you, you, you can have your house there. You can have solar panels, et cetera, et cetera. So, I don't want to say too much, you know, because, uh, eh? yeah, uh, I, uh, you know, there's, these are uh, things that definitely 2022, it will be something that many people will try to do, but do you have to know where you also will go? And that's why in this video, let us continue with the video. We're going to see some more things <clears throat> that might be very interesting. Hmm? Okay. Mm. Ah, yeah, um, I have also the code. Let me show you. Okay, here we are. Bueller Sign newsletter. Hey, I, that's why I couldn't enter what, is this the right? No, this is, so we have two of them. Huh? So we have two of them. So I think it must be this one here. Oh yeah, here it is. So now um you 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 will see that our team, let me make it a little bit bigger. You know, we went to <clears throat> I think everyone knows it. We went to um you know, we went to the Angola last year. And, uh, it was a very very nice trip. People thought, oh, if I go, we if we go now to Angola, Maza he will just take us here to, uh, you know, he will just take us to the nice play areas, you know, yeah. Maza, he's a city boy from Germany, you know. Why should this the why um, should Maza take the place us to where our forefathers? used to be enslaved you know and um, like you can see they didn't do and why should massa take us to another place uh, we know he's a he's a german country boy you know no no i told them very clear we have to go to the beulah land and this is also what we did So let us go to this one here. So this is the trip. Man, I have to, she could make it better. Okay. My goodness. That what I wanted to show you guys. And I think, uh, 
Okay. Okay, here we are. Yeah, he is the family. Okay, we went to the museums. So I will make a video about it, okay, about the trip itself. So that's why we don't want to, to, to I don't want to, to talk too much about the, the, the trip. <clears throat> but what I want to show you is a little bit about the village, okay? Um, Brother Trey, what did you see in the village? Uh, was the toilet clean? How, how, what did you see? Uh, is there also someone else who can give a testimony about the village? Um, basically what the village, what I saw was, um, you know, they didn't have the, I mean, of course they don't have the things that we have, but at the same time, they were very, uh, uh, as I said, self-sufficient and using what they did have. The, the whole setup was designed, I mean, it was pretty spread out, but it was clean. Uh, the, they had, um, the, we had a bathhouse and we also, of course, the toilet was more like a, a place where you had to go and, and go on the ground. It wasn't, you know, there wasn't really water and water there. It was uh, very lively with uh, children and, and people talking, uh, excitement. Uh, we, they, they did a lot of singing when we were doing different things. Uh, it was uh, basically like so, going back in time. So essentially. now let me, let me explain it to you. So it's a place that it's secured. You have no dust. Like in Angola, everywhere, dust and traffic and, uh, okay, it's quiet. You have different kinds of rivers around the, 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 the villages, okay? Mountains, you have different kinds of poss uh, possibilities of things. You can build your own toilet, so you can have your own farm. And this is the village, this is, this is how a village should be, okay? Which means here you can see we are walking around the village, you know, um, you know, I understand if someone say, uh, yeah, I'm somewhere, nowhere, but if the world has a problem, okay, what do you prefer? Where do, where do you go? You know, where will you go? What is your, what are your options? You see? Because if we read the scriptures very well, Satan Zambi is talking about the wilderness. Satan Zambi is talking about secret places on the mountains. Satan Zambi is talking about people who are coming back from the four corners of the earth home. And even those people here in those villages here, what did they say in their teachings? We heard that people will one day come back and live here. Yeah, which means, uh, uh, okay. I, I think here I wasn't there. What are, what are this for dancers? My goodness. Uh, this is serious here. Okay, all good. Development and all these kinds of things. I can say it very clear. If um, um, <clears throat> if um, a European goes to the villages, yeah, we have to be honest. He has no problem, yeah. Uh, you know, he has no problem to to survive. But sometimes it's, it's, it's a little bit hard for our people. Yeah? So this is a private photo from our sisters, I think. She just sent out all the photos, my goodness. <laughs> oh, good. Um, you know, it's very easy for our people to survive, you know, if they go somewhere, you know. Um, no, for, 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 for Europeans, because, you know, even, even in Europe or in America or in China, one thing that uh, uh, 
protects uh, our people is every the, the, the nations uh, is you know they can make out of nothing something. They build their own houses. They do their own gardenings. You know they cut their own woods. You know they go they they go, they go by themselves to hunt like Esau. Huh? He was a hunter. He went out. He was building. And what did Jacob do? You know, he was suffering hunger. So, and it did not change. Yeah. But that's why we are in Europe today, or in, in, in Asia, or in Americas, to learn how to do, you know, to learn how to, you know, improve how to survive. Yeah. We don't have to live in tents. We don't have to live in, 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 in huts, you know, without condition, okay? I hope you, you understand me, you know? Okay? Yes. Like here, this here was an island. In the island, you have no electricity at all. Yeah. But if you look at the huts that they have, yeah, that they built there, they have swimming pools and whatever. Nothing is that they, they everything is there. But you 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 might think you're in a city or somewhere. But it's a it's it's an island. Okay, we we you're gonna understand later why I have showed you all this. Let us go back to the video. <clears throat> there won't be any international flights. Cars won't work. Absolutely everything will be paralyzed. Everything. What is the purpose of all of this? Its purpose is to eliminate many millions of people. The global elites say there are too many people on Earth. In three years, they intend to eliminate 5,000 million people. And I'll tell you something, they are going to achieve their goal. By Christmas, a lot of foodstuffs and products will be missing in the shops. This is not my opinion, but information obtained from American and Russian intelligence services. On the 4th of October this year, they brought down the communication system of the entire world. This was a practice run of what's to come. Everything will collapse, everything. And the person who hasn't food set aside will very probably die of starvation. What is coming is very hard, but I must tell you that the fun and games are now over. I won't mince my words here. What is coming is much more difficult than what you could ever imagine. I hope, therefore, that you will respect the information I have about this blackout. The information I have says it will occur in January, but I wouldn't rule out the possibility that these lowlifes might make it happen even earlier. According to the prophecy of Luz de Maria, this blackout will happen when Europe is under a blanket of snow. This means it will occur in January or February. We have therefore about two months to prepare and to make decisions. Our first decision must be to set aside food for a very minimum of five months. Put aside lots of pulses, such as lentils, chickpeas, beans, non-perishables, because they last for years. Also various forms of pasta. Buy lots of tin foods, also some salt and sugar when the blackout comes to an end the global elite will start world war three the third world war is already prepared brothers and sisters <clears throat> don't believe on the dates that he's giving there okay uh, this uh, we are not the Jehovah witness okay uh to give some some fake dates here or some other so-called prophetesses Oh, three days of darkness. And I'm still, I was waving like this, you know, looking at the sky. Nothing happened, you know. Or you, you over wickedness. I say, oh, 
the nuclear bomb will fall from the light, left and right. And all the whole family, you can, can you imagine, they are hiding themselves under the chairs, under, hiding themselves under the table, and nothing has happened. Don't, um, do not, really not uh, listen to the dates or whatever. Just uh, concentrate yourself on that, what he's saying, what will happen, okay? This is, I think this is better to, this is more important. Good to listen to. The battlefield will be Europe. It will be a Russian and Chinese alliance to destroy Europe and to attack the United States. It will be a thermonuclear war in which previously unknown weapons will be used. And they will use intercontinental ballistic missiles to kill 2,200 million people in three weeks. This is intelligence information. It is not my opinion. The war won't last long, but 50% of Europe will be exterminated. Countries like Holland, Belgium, a part of Georgia, Hungary and Romania will all disappear. A part of Germany and a large section of France will disappear. In two years, the US will lose 180 million people. Spain will lose 30 million. Mexico, 50 million. Costa Rica will lose half its population. All these losses will happen in two years and are described in my last video on World War III entitled, Everything is in Code. The third process will be the impact of an asteroid on our Earth. On one of the first 15 days of May. This asteroid is very possibly the warning or the illumination of conscience. This is the warning announced in Garabandal, very possibly. We won't talk now about the punishment, which is Planet X, which will be upon us in the year 2023 or 2024. I get information from astrophysicists and very high ranking. Please. Like I said, do not listen to these dates, okay? It will definitely, in the name of my father, not happen on these dates. Not even a little bit, you know? But, you know, it's about to, we have to prepare, yeah? It's about the things that he's seen there. The most of the things are <clears throat> scientific. Scientific, okay? He, he, he didn't count the, the, the witnesses. He didn't count the school of the, 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 the most high people, what the most high people will do. As long as the most high people um, didn't come to a conscious that, that they are the most high people, as long the man of sin is not revealed. There, I can give you 40 and more revelations as long people are not starting going back to Africa, starting building Africa, as long the people, as long Africa is not cleaned up from, from witchcraft and all these kinds of things, you know? He said, my father's house are many houses, preparations and stuff like this. These kinds of things will not happen at all. So this is, I have to say it clear, white man's science, white man's, you know, you know if he sits at home alone and he's like, what will happen, you know? But he's explaining very well, you know, what, uh, you know, about things that will definitely happen to us one day, yeah? And which we have to be aware of. Three personnel also. It's not that I'm very clever, but that I receive information from them, which I then pass on to you. I want to warn you that the blackout will be much more frightening and terrifying than World War III. This will be so because during the war, businesses will be open as long as the war is not on your doorstep. And you will be able to buy things and move around, at least to some degree. However, during the blackout, martial law will be imposed and you won't be able to leave your house, not even to walk the dog. If you do, you will be shot on the spot without explanations. Go inside now! Get in the hole! Now, this may be slightly different in some countries. It may be a little bit easier in some places than in others. Hundreds of thousands of people will commit suicide because of this blackout. The next thing is the effect of... Okay, that, that one here, I have to cut.
<clears throat> because um, <clears throat> everyone can read can read it by himself. <laughs> everyone can read it by himself what is written here. Yeah, so. Uh, <clears throat> Our atmosphere, it will break up into two big parts. The slightly smaller part will impact on the Atlantic, quite near Florida. The other part will land in the Pacific Ocean. Using mathematical models, the expansive waves that they will generate will reach 9,000 kilometers across. Wherever these waves travel, nothing will be left standing, neither trees, nor houses, nor mountains, because they are going to be hills and mountains that will be totally washed away. I'm conscious that what I'm saying is very hard, but I have privileged information and it's only fair that you also should have this information. The technical details of this impact are absolutely frightening. All the islands of the Atlantic will disappear, including the Canary Islands. All the islands of the Caribbean will also disappear. Cuba will disappear. A great part of Puerto Rico will disappear. The countries of Guatemala, Costa Rica, Nicaragua, and Panama will be seriously destroyed. New York, Washington, and New Jersey will disappear. The peninsulas of Labrador and Florida will disappear. All of Florida, Tampa, and Miami will completely disappear. Nothing will remain. The waves that reach Europe could reach half a kilometer high, while those reaching America, Colombia, Venezuela, and Brazil could reach 600 meters high. As I said, this information comes from American and Russian intelligence agencies. You see, this is they very important. By five okay? The information comes from the secret societies. Okay? So it is a plan also that this must happen. And they have also prepared themselves for those kinds of chaos. That's why they used to show it to you to move in movies. The rappers used to sing it. You used to see it in the news. You used to see it on the, uh, everywhere. Everyone is prophesying those kinds of things. But we, the Benabantu, we didn't say anything yet. We didn't say that. We didn't say those things. They are saying those things, and the dates that they are giving us are all fake. They can't control the apocalypse. They can't. And everything that is written in the script must happen before anything happens to us. And Tatanzambi had did not say that he will uh, that his people will die, which means his people will be prepared. He's about to clean up the world. So yeah, so uh, are you guys okay? Oh, he's yeah. missing a very yeah. 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 yes. Why Florida? Yes, yes. Yeah, he's, yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. he's yeah. missing a very important. He's missing a very important part that's going to happen. Yes. Very important part. Yeah. Mm -hmm. See, the problem is, is that see, the problem is he's he's coming from a Christianity standpoint where he thinks that they preach the gospel around the world already, when that's a lie. We have to do that. We have to we have to preach the, the gospel of the real kingdom, and then the end will come. Oh, brother! So mm -hmm. we, we have to go out and exactly. preach the pure gospel, mm -hmm. and face off with the of course the fallen one himself. But yeah, and then of course these these catastrophic events are going to be called down by us, mm -hmm. Jeremiah fifty one. Okay, they, we can we're going to control these people. They just don't understand that yet. There's we're going to love, control exactly. all of this. There's a lot of things. There's a lot of things. That's why I said I'm preparing the school. There's a lot of things that might, will happen a little bit differently. Okay. Mm -hmm. It won't happen like this. That's what he's saying. It, it will happen mm -hmm. tomorrow. You know, mm -hmm. if, if, if people uh, might look at it, it's like, hey, man, uh, you know, just take the Bible out and start reading it completely uh, from, from the beginning to the end to be saved, you know, mm -hmm. but this is not how it will be, you know, mm -hmm. so uh, we have to be very smart here, okay? Yeah, yeah. As to when in the first fortnight of May, this will all happen. What I have said is very, very hard, very worrying and also very distressing, but it is what it is. All of these three processes will coincide with the second blood moon, which occurs in May. 
I have warned about how dangerous this blood moon is before, because just before it, they will have eliminated the Eucharist. The Eucharist will be eliminated definitively and for good. There will be no more masses said public. Now we can see where this comes from, yeah, from this Catholic uh, <laughs> way it used to come from, you know. Well, and see, this this is going to coincide with Chrislam. This there will still be some priests who will say mass privately and in secret at home, in a bar, some hiding hole. Chrislam is eliminate, the eliminate the Eucharist. That's a part of it. Be very careful, because any masses that are still being said could have satanic parts inserted into them. After a series of questions from his audience, Galeron makes the following additional points. World War III will last around three weeks and will be brought to an end by the impact of the asteroid. Galeron tells a Puerto Rican woman who was nervous about the impending disaster that he gives tremendous importance to prayer. He tells her how St. Philip was transported a thousand kilometers by the angels. Similar things will happen to us, things that will astound us and that we will find very difficult to explain. He is then asked about Planet X. He says this monster from space will move all of the continents. He's calling it Planet X because he knows that we are the, the, the real X-Men. Huh? Yeah, it's about the real people now. Yeah. So for them, it will be like mystic, but we're going to be prepared for all this, you know? And that's why I was never, uh, you know, I was never scared about my ministry because I know exactly that we're going to be prepared for this with our herbal plants, prophetic. We're going to have the houses. We're going to have, if you read the book of Simon Toko that I have on, 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 on Amazon, Simon Toko is explaining very well. And this man, what, what, what this was in the 1900s, Simon Kimbang was explaining very well that we're going to walk over fire. We're going to walk over water. Nothing will happen to us. And the signs yes. will be seen on our foreheads. We, we, mm. we will become like angels in front of the people. People will come to us and beg us, please ask your father to... To, 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 to bring me with you home. I just see here, Jonathan has sent me a video of someone saying that he comes from a royal family in Africa, which means the world is completely changing. And we didn't see the fights from police against uh, royalty, from, uh, uh, from police against the people, uh, 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 the youth. Uh, going against uh, the, the, the government and all these kinds of things, you know, we don't, we didn't see the fights that will happen in uh, 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 among the people that is written in, in Habakkuk too. We didn't see the waters coming to Africa and taking over African places in some countries. We didn't see how people are are, are, are dying from hunger even more in the African Delta because they are. Um, it's not only that the water level will go high, will increase, but it's also in other places that um, what will happen there? Um, it will dry off. Yeah, it will dry off. We can see, you can see even in places like Kenya now today, there are some, you know, they, they have only the Nile River. Yeah, so it will dry off in certain places. So there's different kinds of things that will happen that we're going to see that shows us that we are going nearer yeah, to the apocalypse. But this doesn't mean that this is the end of the world. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and that's why his dates are completely wrong, yeah, really. As if they were sponges. It's his opinion that Planet X is the punishment spoken of in Garavandal. This will be further out in the timeline, so he will deal with this in a later video. He says that the intelligence sources that contacted said that the many thousands of... Oh, oh, okay. This is also something I have to make it away because he's talking about the, the pandemic, huh? You can see what he's saying. I hope uh, it won't be like this. And when it will be like this, it will not affect our people, I tell you. It will not affect our people. In the name of the Tanzania Mazulu. All, oh, the, all the chosen one. The most I will find a way this not happen to them. But I can tell you, this, this Marcon guy, 
this Macron guy, yeah, not the unicorn, but the Macron, he said very clear that he really wants everyone to receive it. Mm. Yeah, he said he will go after those mm -hmm. who did not receive it. He will yeah, go mm -hmm. after them and Tuck find them. Tuck got something for him. <laughs> sure <laughs> does. Tuck and Zombie got something for him. Sure <laughs> do. <laughs> Hallelujah. My goodness. That every coastal city in every country of the world will disappear under the water. Every city in every country of the world that has a coastline. Pick any city you like. All of them will disappear under the water without exception. What I'm saying is hard to take, but you must tell others and very hard decisions will have to be taken because of this information. You need to get out of the city. If you can't buy a property in the country, rent one. Remember, with the blackout... You see what he said? If you can't rent one, look at this. I don't want to go too deep to the scriptures, but I will show you one of the songs that I love so much. Just listen to this Jamaican man, what he will sing here. Okay, just listen to him. What a prophetic word he is. Do someone wants to say something? Well, we understand, and I'm, uh, this has been a, a vision of mine for a while, that they have to play out the scenario for the Christians. But the problem is, is that they fail to understand is, is that there's another group of people that will be dealt with that they're trying, of course, they're trying to destroy us, you know, but the fact of the matter is that many things will be able to manipulate that they can't control because they're the want to be gods. And so that when the true gods show up, it's going to change everything. That's the problem that the, that the world has not seen because Christianity is so deceived. They're calling this the tribulation. When they don't understand, the tribulation is the of, of the Bakongo. When we were dealing with our captivity, you see, and now that the captivity is over, this is when things begin to change. This is the end of Esau. And see, that's what they don't understand. We rise, they fall. Exactly. They don't know that. It's, 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 a, it's a kingdom. It's, it's a change of, of power. Yeah. It's a change of power. You will see the you will see uh, our people taking over Europe and starting telling us the man of sin, the man of sin. They will show him you have done this and this and this and this to the world, and that's why you will be condemned. That's why you have to go to prison. That's why you have to pay this and this amount. This is what is coming to them. Their own laws will judge them. The own laws of them that they make that they put there. With Jacob's rights, Jacob will be received the first time in this goddamn world. Jacob will receive his rights. Either you are Puerto Rican, Mozambican, Angolan, or South African, in America somewhere, even the people in the ghettos, the people somewhere in the Asia, everyone that people have done badly things to them, they have to receive their rights. And this is the problem for the elites, okay? Which means uh, Nestle will have problems, Nokia and all these kinds of, all these people, they will be exposed. And this will be a, a, a disaster, okay? Financial disaster, you know? You know? Because- uh, yeah, Their disaster come with the gods they serve. That's what they ask for. Yeah. They want it like this. Oh, build a land, sweet land. That's where I want to be. Oh, motherland, my father. Ooh, I saw a vision of a rest. Wait a minute. He saw a vision. You saw? I never heard a European having a vision like this. You know? So this Rastaman. That people will say, oh, he smokes weed. Uh, he loves women or whatever. But this Rastaman has more vision than the Pope. No? Man, they're coming out to me. He's 
set. Get to your brothers and sisters from the dark corners of the earth. And if they're living in America or even in my Poland, Jamaica, the brothers them that suffer in South Africa, even in Australia down under, tell all the buffalo soldiers to prepare themselves for war. Cause when united we're stronger, divided we will fall. And when the running gets deeper, my love for Jah it gets deeper. Jah is my guiding savior. I will sing out these praises forever. My father's. Wait a minute. When the running gets deeper, when oppression gets deeper, he will start singing praises forever. Huh? Unite, you know. He said, gather my people from the four corners of the earth. So he knows in the vision when he smoke, when the most high, because he is the, the most high is in him, he telling him, my boy, sing it. Sing it. Tell them. When the running gets deeper, it didn't, it haven't started yet. You can see Kanye West running over there and showing himself that he's the uh, He's uh, he he owns he owns America. You can see Floyd Mayweather throwing away throwing the money, and now it's snowing there. And they're like, oh, oh the snow will pass. You know, <laughs> it's just snow. <laughs> you know, so nothing happened had happened yet. But for us, the Benabito, it is like a warning that the time is showing. Look, I'm showing it to them, but they do not understand. It's the time of re repentance it's a time of preparation okay i will destroy edom i will destroy the pride the poor will become rich and the rich will become poor in front of people's eyes Uh, 
Then people want to find this Beulah, you can go to Google, you ask them, where's this Beulah land? Oh, it's never, it was never found. Okay, all good. That is why the most I have secrets. Most I have secrets. Where we will go, they won't go there. The most High is preparing his people like a lion, even in the Europe, even in the America. He's increasing knowledge. But we have to know how to use our own resources, how to uh, be become familiar again with the nature, how to become familiar again with, with water, fire. You know, we have to understand everything in the cosmos to learn again uh, what the human needs, our herbal stuff, medicine, you know. We have to unite as well, unite. Hey, what does it mean unite? If something that if someone doesn't have something is something, it's not about that the thing that happened to our brother in Gambia, you know, someone calling himself the king, and our other brother is suffering hunger there. He became skinnier than uh, someone in Somalia. No, not this is not unity. No, we are talking about pure unity, which means if someone uh, is with us, he knows no, nothing will happen to me because I know that this is my family and they will find a way for me and my family to survive and even to, not even only to survive, but to become, uh, to live a good life. No one suffered, uh, uh, no one of the, the disciples suffered when they went with, with, with Isaiah. We know that these people, they came from, from, some others from them came from rich family. Some others from them was doing businesses with money. Some other of them were, were doing fishing. But they left all those kinds of jobs because they said, hey, man, this is the way we had people walking with Abraham, people walking with Massa. Hey, all of them, you know, no one was suffering. OK, so, you know, if people start suffering, like I said, because they all they want to live in the city because they think that this is the non plus ultra, what Rihanna used to sing when they see uh, 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 places where they see a lot of development, this is what they think that this is, the, this is, this is, this is uh, um, you know, they think that this is Babylon, they think that this is the place to be, you know, but this is, this is not how it should be, you know, you have people, they're living in Jamaica, they don't have the, they don't have, uh, 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 I have to say it very clear here, they don't have computers like us, yeah, you, 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 they just use, you uh, uh, they just use that what they have, you know, what comes with computers, watching porn, watching different kinds of movie that you should watch, doing things that you shouldn't do, looking on Facebook and all this platforms to looking for women, so how you can get them and all this stuff. Someone in the village don't, don't carry those kinds of sins. They don't have those sins. Okay. When you live somewhere, it, everywhere where you live, this is also where you're going to, uh, 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 um, um, where you're going to take over the spirits and the, 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 the lifestyle of the people. Yeah. So it's clear here. So the Tanzani must show us also a, a, a way of prayer, a way how to, 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 to come together also with him again. And when we are talking about Beulah here, the Tanzani saying, I will make my people give, will give them one um, one language, a pure language. I will give them one father. I will give them leaders. I will, I will you know, the, the, the most I wants to unite us. He, he, and he said different kinds of people from different kinds of places will join them. This is a revolution. Okay. Can you imagine? Huh? And people are so blind. They are so blind. They're still waiting the pandemic to stop. So that they can go back to the clubs. All debts will be cancelled because the entire financial system is going to collapse. And those who need the vaccinators will be. Oh, he said it. <laughs> Let me just hear. There is stuff that will be thrown up out of the volcanoes. So, what does this mean? It means that places like Costa Rica, with an average temperature of 28 to 30 degrees, will be facing temperatures of 12 degrees below zero. And people are going to die of cold. It will be like this for months. Countries in Europe will have temperatures of between 50 and 60 degrees below zero. 
So who will be able to take that level of cold? Many people will die. You will see the Russian coming. Hey, uh, you, you are my African brothers. <laughs> I love you so much. Please let me in. You see? You will see them coming in mass. And, and all these kinds of videos that you will see, Hollywood, all these kinds of prophecies, you will always see that Africa won't be affected at all. There are some places in Africa that will be affected. Yeah? There are some places that will be affected, but it will become normal again. Okay, it will become normal again. Even the war will affect northern part of Africa. Yeah, it will go to the northern part of Africa because you have put Canaan, uh, put, uh, uh, put uh, Ethiopia, Kush, exactly, put Ethiopia and uh, and those those areas from Morocco, uh, Egypt, those kinds of areas down there in the further uh, Sudan, there near Somalia, definitely, definitely. Uh, <laughs> but we have also waterways that will hit Angola city uh, and all the coast areas in, in, in Africa. Definitely, we know. But that's why when this kinds of things happen that Tanzania have already said, go now there where I have prepared you to go. And it won't be Asia. <laughs> it won't be Russia somewhere. It's Asia, by the way. It won't be Germany, Netherlands, or uh, Spain, or Latin America, Southern America, America. No, it's, it will be in Africa. And that's why, brothers and sisters, this is, that's why we have to... Uh, you know, find our tribe, stop our ego, uh, really try to find out what the most I really want. Find a way for those uh, wicked politicians to open the doors for our people to come home and all these kinds of things, you know? You know, learning as much as possible so that uh, the, the, our teachers, uh, the science, the scientific uh, uh, teachers, uh, uh, historical teachers, we need professional, uh, professional, more professional, uh, uh, um, um, what is, um, doctors and all these kinds of things. People that know how to, fl to, 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 to fly planes. People do, that, that worked in fabrics and all those kinds of things. We need, we need everyone. It's like a chess game here. Everyone, even the one who cleans the bottom. We need every baby. Every baby is a future. We need every mama. We need everyone. These horrific temperatures will last for months. The cold will be horrendous and frightening. The impacting asteroids in the Atlantic and Pacific will cause Yellowstone, which has uh, a mouth of 300 kilometers, to erupt, killing all life right down to the Mississippi Basin. Because of the immensity of the Pacific, all the coasts of China, Indonesia, Australia, the United States, all the coasts of South America, Colombia, Costa Rica, Panama, Guatemala, Nicaragua, Mexico, Peru, Chile, with a coast of 6,000 kilometers on its own. All of these places will be completely razed and devastated. These waves will reach 10,000 meters high at times. This will happen especially in the US as it has a gradual continental shelf. France has a continental shelf of only 200 meters resulting in 50% of France going underwater. The same will happen in Germany, Poland, Russia, which is also very low and will suffer and it will also suffer a similar fate. He says the angels will help the believers, not during the impact of the asteroid, but during World War III, when the Russians, Chinese and Muslims invade Europe. The war itself will last about three weeks but the invading forces will be here for three, four or five months. And you can't imagine the massacre and the brutal savagery that they will inflict, inflict on Christian people. Remember that the Russians and the Chinese. 
the angels will help us all the time. The angels are helping also now. We have the angels, we have the saints, we have the ancestors, we have all of them with us. And they will come to fight for us, with us, because this world belongs to us. No, 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 my friend. They, they will always fight with us. And even in the time of war, especially in the time of war, they will fight with us. It's normal. Okay? So, but something that he has said here, let us go back. But during World War III, when the Russians, Chinese, and Muslims invade Europe, even in the book of Quran, it's very well written that they are preparing a war between Christians and Muslims. That's nothing, that's nothing new. And that's why I told you that the people in North Africa, we have a lot of them in Nigeria, we have them in Ghana, we have them in Kenya, we have them in, in, in even in some east, eastern part of Africa. The Muslims, even the black ones, will go crazy doing the baddest things to people you can't imagine. But to us, they won't come. And they will suffer thirst. You can't imagine what kind of thirst will come to the eastern part of Africa. But you know, this is something... This is something they can deal with it. Oh, I want to build houses. Oh, I want to this, this. Go, go do to Israel, building houses in Egypt. Oh yeah, Egypt is now the promised land. Go, fine, this is the promised land. Go, do your projects in Egypt. You know? Hey, the most I have hide the truth. He have hidden the truth to certain people. To the whole world, the most high, you can call him. He is deceiving. He's saying, you won't know where, <laughs> where my plants are. You will hear it here and there, but you won't understand. You will even see it on YouTube or some other things, but you won't believe, you know? And this is the problem here. It's a spiritual war. And the other thing that makes people very scared is, People always used to think on their sins. Oh, I have done this, 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 this in my life. <laughs> Will the most I really accept me? Will the most I really let me in? <laughs> this master and his people. <laughs> I think it's the wrong way because <laughs> these people believe in the most I truly. Eh? I see something in them. <laughs> but if I go this way, it's also uh, superficial. And maybe they are going to receive savings too. The problem is the most I said, I did not come for those who are good, but I came for those who needs my help, who are bad. He came also for those who are bad. Some of us here, they are, they are in heaven already. You used to walk, uh, used to live here on earth, definitely. But you have to know that you have already chosen. You have already made it. You're already one of the saints. Okay, so you're just uh, here to, 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 to see that your time passed and then you go there where our forefathers went to. But there are some others, they need real help. They live in depression. Hey, brothers and sisters, we have the richest from the richest people on this earth. And when this kind of things happens to them, do you know what kinds of things they will do? They will try to find the most high. Because there is no one else that will pass the most high. We need him more than anything else. The world needs healing. The war itself will last about three weeks, but the invading forces will be here for three, four or five months. And you can't imagine the massacre and the brutal savagery that they will inflict, inflict on Christian people. Remember, that the Russians and the Chinese are all communists. He says that the island of La Palma will collapse into the sea, causing waves of 600 meters on the whole east coast of the United States. The Russians have already evacuated their diplomats from Morocco, knowing because they know something that we don't know. World War III will not affect Central and South America, but the consequence of this nuclear war a terrible global famine will. 
When asked what role Spain will play in all this, he says, the faith in Spain is already totally destroyed. Spain is finished, it's destroyed. The elite had Spain in its crosshairs and they have totally destroyed it. In the next three years, Spain will go from a population of 49 million people down to 18 million people. He's then asked about the role of the Vatican in all this. He says we should forget about the Vatican because it is now the center of a pagan, ecological and ecumenical religion. The Vatican is the biggest center, he says, of Satanism in the world. In the last 80 years, the physical structures of the church have been infiltrated by seminarians who were mostly homosexuals and members of the Communist Party, or else they were criminals. In the priesthood now, you find all types of people, including criminals. In these last 80 years, thousands and thousands of these seminarians have infiltrated the church and been legally ordained, but they are not really true priests. They have permeated the physical structures of the church, such as seminaries, convents, monasteries, parishes, bishoprics, etc., and worked their way up to the ecclesiastical ladder to reach the highest level. The result is that we now have a false church which goes unnoticed by the ordinary man and woman in the street. Because of this, we are now in 2021 and find that the church is totally controlled by ecclesiastical Freemasonry. Francis, by the way, is not the result of chance. Francis has been prepared to rise in the church to assume power and to destroy the church. It's a so oh, this is their church, uh, blah blah blah. So then he goes again to this thing that we can't we can't talk about. <clears throat> uh, so all good. Now, brothers and sisters, I want to hear something from you um, before we enter into prayer. What do you think about all this? Maybe two or three people. <clears throat> Um, good afternoon or good night to everyone, depending on where you are in the world, that is. Um, as a young man living here in Jamaica, and I, I love the fact that um, Mikhail uh, used one of our established veteran artists, Mr. Washington. <laughs> um, yeah, it, 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 it has been um, talked about throughout our music or and our our journey as Jamaicans when we're when we were um enslaved here as um in terms of judgment and everything and um it's really really a joy to know that um the Messiah sent Mikhail to teach us the way uh so um to reveal the knowledge of repentance and what and the process. Really Ajay. Um the 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 one I wanna I have a question for you though, Mikhail. Go ahead. Um through it through it all, because you, you I already mentioned um we must try and persuade um, the politicians to let us come back home. Um, it, 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 it was up to yesterday, I was talking to some elders, um, or should I say last night about that? Because for me personally, um, I definitely want to know that I come home and, and be amongst my people. But um, do, do, do you see any leeway upon that anytime soon, though? My brother, um, this um, homecoming thing is uh, also a spiritual thing. <clears throat> when the people have realized where they used to come from and that the world is going down, that the West won't stay like it is, um, you know, uh, they have also shut down the way for people to coming home. And they will do the, their best 
for us to stay in Babylon or to stay those, in those places where they want us to stay. Why? Because they know that we are not so dumb. Like in, dumb is not good. We are not, we, we have learned, okay? We have studied. We are not so easy to handle like the, the indigenous people in the land. We are, not so, we are not people that used to believe in everything what the politics says. And we, we can bring the, the, the development in our countries. That's why they do not want all our people to come home. They will make it uh, very hard for us to come home. And even in the land, it will be always hard. And that's why the Tanzani must help us to really put the foundations for our people. And everywhere where you see people are really doing a good job and putting things together, it's always a good opportunity to find, to, 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 to put yourself in the midst of those people and to, 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 to unite with them and to, to, do, to, build, uh, to, to, build, to, to build something up from the scratch. They will, do, um, they, will do, they will do their best uh, for you guys not to, to, to leave. Uh, it will be so expensive and uh, uh, take this shot and do this and uh, they will do things uh, you can't imagine. They don't want you to leave. They want you to work here. They want you to, to stay here. They want you, you know, this is what they want. The music will change. The videos will change. A lot of other attractions, everything only for you to stay there where you are. So we have Mrs. Benjamin, she wants to say some. Good afternoon to everyone. Um, let me put on my camera. Good afternoon to everyone. I am... Um, I've been on the call for a while. Um, I just wanted to say, well, since I have been a child, I've have I've had a lot of dreams. But um, I I always I used to be fearful of speaking about it because the people who are around me are not. How should I say? They don't fully understand or they don't believe fully. Um, I, I was an Adventist before. So um, a lot of those persons, they are not, I should say spiritual, they are more religious. So um, in 2019, I had a dream that I only told uh, my husband and my sister and her husband. And this dream was I didn't understand, listening to what um, Nabi just played, um, it reminded me of the dream. I wrote it down and it spoke about the Russians and the Chinese. And I didn't know that the Russians and Chinese had any affiliation. And the dream was um, there were ships in the waters at the coast in Tobago. I'm in Tobago and there were ships like it was like the beautiful, you know, the well-made technology that China, China makes or Japan makes. And um, people were fascinated by the look of these ships and they were taking pictures. And while they were fascinated by it, I saw a crowd of persons just looking at these ships. And while walking toward them, I, I said, like I knew in my spirit that something was wrong. And I said, you all need to run. You need to prepare. You need to run. And everyone was just in their phones taking pictures and only like five persons ran. And we went under a house and that's where we hid. So the house was like in the earth. And we, it, there was just a small spot under the house and the ground where we could look through. And while we were hiding under the ground, we saw, I saw um, Russians coming out of those ships but there were most of them were already amongst the people but the people didn't know it and they came out with their guns and they started to say get inside get inside and who did not listen they shot them people were running up the hills um, women with children were running and they were getting shot because they were they did not get inside at the time that they were told to get inside um, I, so I, I, I didn't share it with a lot of persons because I didn't, 
I didn't understand the affiliation with Chinese and and Russians. I didn't know that there was any affiliation at all. Also, um, in 2020, we were trying to prepare to come to Africa. And um, because our family is so big, it's, I have four persons in my family and the finances to get there, it's like really difficult. Um, for one person is like 50,000 TT dollars alone. So, so we found, we saw as though it was almost impossible for us to get there at the time that we were really trying to get there. And I got to a point where I started to cry on Tatan Zambia. I, I said, what is it that we can do? How, um, when are we supposed to get out? Because there was another sister with us and she was preparing to leave. And um, she eventually left. She left and she left, she left us. Um, she went over to, uh, she's in Africa. And I, when I, I spent some time, you know, just crying unto him, I left the house and I went by, by the beach in the night by myself. And I started to pray. And I said, yeah, I'm not leaving until I get an answer. And I got, I got fed up because it was like 10 in the night and I got fed up and I said, I'm leaving. And while I started to drive, I heard, did you get your answer? And I said, no, I've been waiting for an answer and I'm not getting an answer. You're not answering me. So I was complaining to him. And when I got to, to town that night, because the narrative that was given is that everyone is going to be destroyed in the Caribbean, right? And I got to a place in, in the town of Tobago and I saw a guy cleaning the road and I went to buy ice cream and he said, he came over and I said, would you like an ice cream? And he said, you'll buy the ice cream for me? I said, yes, of course. I said, what, what flavor would you like? And there was, there was so much innocence in his eyes. He was a, a homeless guy. There was so much innocence in his eyes. And that's when Tatan Zami started to speak and I'm driving. I could not remember how I got home. I knew I was driving but I didn't remember passing the traffic lights, didn't remember, um, but I got home safely. And when I got home, I just wrote down everything that she said to me. And I heard, just like what um, Brother Master was saying, is they are gonna trap us. He said, they are going to prevent us from leaving. And this was before they made the mandates and everything of, of the vaccine and shutting down everywhere. He said they are going to prevent us from leaving. They are going to, we are going to be trapped in, the, in these lands, in the lands of our captivity. He also said he's going to raise up a Moses, just like in the times of, of Israel coming out of Egypt. He said he's going to raise up a Moses in the motherland. And it's almost as though it felt to me as though it was a political person. I'm not sure, like someone who has authority. I'm not sure but it almost felt like it's not just one person, but it's like three persons. And he said that this person is going to cry out for the leaders of the other countries to let the people of Anzambi go. And the same thing that happened then is going to happen again, where they are going to to prevent us from leaving and then the plagues and all these different things are going to start um, fall upon them. But he, he showed me that his people are going to be safe. He assured that there is nothing for us to worry about. He said all the, 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 the effects of, of the dis uh, disobedience of, of the leaders and all the people all over the world are preventing us from getting back to our land. They are going to suffer the persecution for their actions. So um, I have been, I'm really grateful that I, I found um, Brother Jonathan and Brother Master and um, because you guys have taught me a lot and I just want to say this, when I found you all, I really was at a point where I cried onto and Zambi asking for more. I need more of you because I felt as though what we learned back in church, it wasn't enough. It, it, wasn't, it, it didn't feel right. It wasn't, it was like three, a, a third, I should say, 
But when I found you guys understanding spirituality and getting deeper into spirituality, I understand, I understood more who I am as a person. And just a week ago, um, we were out, outdoors in the night, um, you know, discussing because we are still sort of under lockdown in Trinidad and Tobago. Um, our beaches are only open from like 5 a.m. to 12 a, to 12 a.m. So to 12 p.m. So we are really like still in in slavery, we should say. Um, and we were discussing a plan how to prepare because um, the prices of food is raising and we cannot get access to certain things without being um, vaccinated. And uh, we were planning of storing of foods and stuff like that and the, the sky became thick with clouds and raindrops, heavy raindrops started to fall on us. And we said, no. And Zambi, we need to discuss. We need to meet with each other to discuss because for a long time we, were, we could not go out of our homes after 9 p.m. And I said, we need to have this opportunity for us to discuss. I said, we, we said, wind carry these clouds away so that we can continue to speak to the Most High and discuss the things of the Most High. And immediately, it didn't even take a minute, but immediately the clouds started to move and we all saw it and we were at awe. The clouds started to move and the sky became so clean, filled with stars. And we were able to discuss until we left that night. So we are really seeing that the Most High is doing something with us. And one of the things that he said to me again is that a lot of persons are running back home to the motherland, but they are going back home with their baggages. We have to leave our baggages behind, our, our ways, our Egyptian ways, our, our indoctrination. We have to leave all those things behind because even though we go back to the motherland and we go with the mindset, of Egypt, it makes no sense. So I just thank want you. to thank you thank all you. for. Then, then we have then your we sister, Syfex. Say that again. Yeah. Thank you very much. Sister. Thank you very much. Sorry, I'm sorry. The name is Paulette. I don't know why. Um, it's my son who actually had placed that name there, and I tried to get rid of it. I wanted to ask you. Yes. Okay. yes. okay. So. Um, Wait a minute, I can hear me double. Wait a minute, I can hear me double. Oh, oh, where is that? <laughs> it's echoing. Okay. I could it's hear good the now. echo too, but I'm not so sure. It's good. Is it okay? Yeah. Okay, yeah. just I uh, want to say hello to everyone. Hello. Who, uh, who is meeting in the group today and to uh, Massa, our leader, or teacher, or Nabi. Uh, I actually just wanted to share quickly. Um, that I know based on what uh, uh, Masa just said regarding locking us down into where we are, I can tell you definitely that it has already started here in Canada where I am. And um, even though I just actually took a very short, well, a, a trip of just a couple of weeks back to my homeland back in Jamaica, I, I came back uh, late in November. And um, I'm telling you, uh, as soon as shortly after, as soon as December, it hits December, they actually place the mandate in, we are no longer allowed to travel. I actually went down uh, because I knew that the time was coming when they will put these uh, mandates in place that will prevent us from traveling without the, uh, the shot. And so I actually went down, quickly came back because I wanted to take my kids. I really, really wanted to leave um, out of the, the out of this country, and I really wanted to return to my land, um, my country, Jamaica. However, my kids were not willing to come into Jamaica just now, so I had to come back in. But they have already locked the borders. Canada is one of the countries that will actually um, they will move ahead uh, with the agenda quickly, fast, swiftly, and. I also wanted to share that in 2017, before my awakening, and I think this was probably the vision that actually um, awakened me, where I had this vision where I was actually shown, told so much, shown so much destruction that was coming upon America. 
I was shown the tsunami that was gonna devastate the United States of America. The storms that I was shown, I um, actually filled me with so much dread in the vision. I, I've had visions over the years, but I was never ever filled with so much dread. And I was so horrified by what I was shown coming up on the United States of America, but it was dreadful. I was shown the war, the nuclear, the nuclear um, disaster that they were gonna be involved in or that was gonna come upon the world. Um, the horrible storms. And I think the very last storm that they actually, um, that they had just a few weeks ago where so many states were involved and the mass destruction was actually, actually the beginning of what I was shown. And the storm clouds that I saw were actually, I'd never seen storm clouds as black in real life as what I was shown in the vision. However, at the end of the vision, I actually saw, and this, I was not even awake, awoken or anything. I saw the Messiah with his hands stretched out among the storm clouds in the sky. And he was a black man. And this was the first I am ever knowing this in my life, even though it's in the, in the scriptures, but you know, when we go to church, we're not really told these things. So I saw him in the vision among the storm clouds. And he said, I am the Omega, I am the Alpha and Omega. And this is what he actually, he, he showed me so much that was coming. And I know that the judgment of the Almighty is already here. It's, it starts in a subtle way, but it's just going to pick up momentum and it's going to become so much worse. And I can tell you that their last uh, destructive storm is actually uh, just the beginning. And I don't know, but sometime early in 2021, it's like the Lord had said to me, uh, we got to find ways out to actually get our, our people uh out of the land. I don't know. I just probably couldn't understand fully the meaning, but it's like we got to develop businesses and stop working for their systems, stop being dependent on their systems, develop businesses that where we could actually work together and help each other to even um, exit their, uh, their system. And I actually had moved ahead to actually, well, you know what? Once you develop a business here in this North American continent, you have to actually uh, register it with the government. And so I actually went ahead, established an agency, but my intention really is to actually utilize this agency on a global level where we could actually utilize it to move our people from the North American continent back into the continent. And uh, we still have much work to do, but that is the inception of it. It is already registered, incorporated. And I am trying to, I have reached out to the, uh, there's this organization called the ADDI. I'm not so sure if anyone has heard of ADDI. It's called the African Development uh, African Diasporan Development Institute. And uh, it is the AU ambassador that heads that organization. And they, they are actually offering many benefits like getting back to the taking people from, from North American continent to the motherland and so forth. So I have reached out to them and I had already told one of the, the, uh, the person in charge of the Canadian chapter since I'm in Canada, I told her my objective of really utilizing this agency uh, to, you, to move our people from the North American continent back onto the uh, motherland. And, um, but uh, it's, it, it will take time to grow and all of that. And I, we are praying right now, I am no longer allowed to practice in Canada. I am actually a healthcare professional registered healthcare professional, and I can no longer practice on my license because I have declined their uh, vaccine. And so I am, I, my, my career is over. 
once I'm here. But I'm not even focusing on that. I am focusing on developing the, the agency. I mean, I can actually you're, you're highly welcome with your, all your degrees in, in Africa. So yes, <laughs> Thank, <laughs> yes, yes. Give praise for that. Give praise for that. But yes, I um, actually am. I have gone ahead and moved ahead, and I um, I really wanted to take a trip, but uh, it really wasn't possible. This was in December when they had their trip. But I am really trying to see what I can do to actually utilize the this business in uh for for the benefit of our people getting them onto the continent so well, we just need some prayer um, for that yes yeah, the thing um, is pardon me pardon me you said it was a d d i correct a d d i african uh, african diaspora development institute uh it is headed by um the au ambassador her name is uh Arikana Chiambora, uh, she's a medical doctor um, working from Maryland, from out of the US in Maryland. And she is actually, um, have been so powerful in getting the people in the diasporans across the Caribbean, in the US, in Canada. And uh, the group has grown tremendously. Uh, and um, yes, they are actually working to, to, to for our people, the diasporans to come together, get back to the continent, move back to the continent. And she has been in dialogue with the, with um, especially people in Ghana or whichever uh, other country to- Gambia, Ghana, they are doing. Yes, yes, to offer, to offer citizenship to, to, to the diasporans whenever they come over and uh, to help them. So there are uh, actually, um, there are benefits that they offer, investment benefits. Uh, people or diasporans can help even this small amount of money that you have invest in uh, opportunities of investment such as gold, um, land acquisition, um, get involved in projects that will help our people on the continent. I mean, it is big. And I think that you guys, whoever may be interested can actually go on their site and check it out. It is called ADDI. They actually have an app as well. And um, yeah, it's praises. it's huge and it's grow, it's growing. Oh, praises. This is uh, this is uh, the power of the most high. You have always yes. a solution. You have always, yes. always a solution for everything because the things are really getting sharper, sharper. Yes. And um, yeah, Africa is not so easy. Africa has... Uh, right has one difficulty that is in Africa, this is the African witchcraft. Mm. It means that many people that go to Africa, they will deal with different kinds of problems. And one of it is witchcraft, mm. which means that people must be ready to do, um, to really find the, the most high truly, mm. not only going, you know, naked to Africa. Naked doesn't mean that you have a lot of money going to Africa, but naked means that you're going to Africa without protection. Mm -hmm. You need, uh, the most high must be with you. Yeah. Because judgment will come to Africa at all. Africa must be cleaned mm -hmm. up. This is the most high's place. The only thing why we are saying people have to go back to Africa is because the most high lives there. He lives amongst the poor. When the affliction comes and the problem comes, it was like the World Trade Center when it was about to collapse and all these kinds of things. This guy that has uh, said that has put the bombs there, yeah, he was under, he was hiding himself with some black child because he knew it's like the Pharaoh, you know. He said, When this Egypt, when this children of Israel leave here, oh man, Egypt is done. When the ba time of Babylon. When Daniel and all of them, they leave here, oh my goodness, my, my, my kingdom is done. My demonstrator will destroy us. So uh, this is Africa. There are some people, they are chosen by the Most High, and that's why he won't finish them off. But among our people, there are some people, they are very wicked, and the Most High must mm -hmm. do his best mm -hmm. to expose them as well, to take them away from us and all these kinds of mm -hmm. things. Mm -hmm. so there is also a fight that will happen in the lands especially also political fights. 
yeah, because yeah. Uh, it must be, we need liberation. So uh, that's why it says in the, in the scriptures, they will come from east to, 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 from east to west, from west to east, from, from south to north. People will always be like, where should I go? Yeah, where should I go? What should I do? Yes. So we offer also our package. Um, I think everyone knows Sister Kim, Sister KK, and everyone that wants to know a little bit more about it, contact them. I'm working on our web pages to tell you. Uh, I, I want. I don't want to tell everyone where exactly we want to go and what exactly I want to do. But um, in those web pages, I think I will give enough information um, for everyone that can, that is interested. Um, yeah, like I said, uh, me myself, I grew up in the diaspora. I will never live like Tarzan in, in the jungle. Yeah, this is something I promise. Yeah, I will always have my car somewhere. I will always have my boat somewhere. I will always have my standards somewhere because I will not live like Tarzan. No, I won't do that. But we are going back, which means we have technology today. We can use uh, 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 the, the, the air, air power, water power. We have all this. When you see in the area where we are going, uh, in, this, uh, in, the, in those areas where we are going, you have a lot of uh, rivers, you have, you have good wind, you have everything what you, what, what you, that you need so, to survive. Yeah. So, um, okay, brothers and sisters, never do never um, become scared. <laughs> do never think that the Most High don't know you. Do never think that the Most High uh, uh, will leave you. But stay in prayer. Pray for your families, and uh, uh, understand the times where we are into. We are mm -hmm. going. People wants to control us even more. They want to control our doings. They want to control, um, you know, our, our finances. Um, we, have, we, we, we have to unite, yeah? We have to unite. We have to find solution, real solutions. And uh, uh, we have to find the most high. The Jacob must find the most high, yeah? Um, not this uh, superficial Christian, no, no, no. We have to find our feasts back, our spirituality. We have to find our history back. We have to find the um, 99 sheep because maybe one is only saved now. We have to find all of them and to bring them home. So we have to find the most high. Yeah, We have really to see the most high and he have really to speak among us like he have done in the time of Joshua. When they went from when they went from Egypt and stuff like that, when he was with Abraham, he always showed him signs. You know, he has to start speaking to us again, because it is the Most High Himself that is coming down here to Earth, no one else. And before he comes down, the Earth must be cleaned up. No sorcerer, no more. No bad people, no more. So don't let anyone take your crown. Don't go to the wicked ways psalms one don't give up on faith don't give up to do goods on people yeah don't give up your prayers yeah believe in one another trust yeah yeah and if someone does something to you forgive him you know forgive him just not the forgiving like oh he hasn't done something for you to, to you no just forgive him like go your ways you know just leave me, you know, bye-bye. Everything what happened, it's not no, no more in my heart, but go your ways. Deal it, do it with the most high. Yeah. The most high loves you, all of you. Today, uh, I want uh, three people to pray for us and then we're going to close this. We're going to go uh, next week to a prayer. Uh, we're going to start our prayer. For the new year, you know, we have to, 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 to go to our cleansing and stuff like that. And then I told you, guys, then you will be surprised I have something for you. And uh, uh, by the teachings that will come. So let us find three people to pray. So uh, if we have some new people here, I think, is Brother Lucas Carlos ready to pray for us?
Thank you, Michael. Okay. Thank you. Blessings to all. If you don't mind, I I will I will pray in Spanish. Okay, all good. Yadahaba, gracias Padre por este tiempo, por los hermanos, gracias por cada vida, gracias por poder bendecirlos en tu nombre a uno a uno, gracias Padre, porque en ti, solo en ti podemos estar confiados, papá, tú eres nuestra fortaleza, tú nos levantas y tú nos unes, Padre, gracias Padre por ponerme en contacto con Michael, gracias Padre por poder hablar con mis hermanos en mi lengua, cada uno tenemos una lengua, pero yo sé que el Espíritu habla a cada uno poderosamente, Padre mío. Bendigo tu vida, Padre, bendigo tu nombre, bendigo tu presencia y tu trono en esta tierra, así como en los cielos, Padre, porque yo sé que aquí está ya tu trono implantándose en cada uno de nuestros corazones, papá, porque tú eres nuestra guía, en nuestra vida, papá. Gracias, papá, por todos los hermanos que estás levantando, Padre. Gracias por la manifestación gloriosa de todos tus hijos aquí en la tierra. Y gracias, Padre, por hacernos uno solo en ti, un solo fe, un solo hombre, un solo ejército. Gracias, Padre, en el nombre de Yahushua Hamashia, en el nombre de Yishaya Congo. Gracias, papá. Amén. Así es. Aleluya. 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 Brother Silverback. Brother Silverback, pray for us, please. Hallelujah. Nathan Zambe Yamazulu, thank you so much for allowing us to gather. Thank you. Thank you for your grace. Thank you for allowing us to uh, um, to gather, to, to to come come together in one mind. Thank you for uh, for providing for us. Uh, uh, providing Nabi Ikeamasa. We thank you for your word, of Zambi. That's, that's forever present before us. Your word that binds us, the word that gives us breath, that gives us energy, that gives us uh, our purpose here on earth, of Zambi. We know that we are living in really, really hard times. So that I ask that you, um, Open our hearts as, as brothers and sisters. Open our hearts, open our minds, give us wisdom, give us understanding. Allow us to work together as one body. Allow us, Tatan Zambi, allow us to uh, remove the things that we've learned from uh, the, the Karyam Pemba. Tatan Zambi, give us uh, uh, new ways of understanding, new ways of communicating, new ways of utilizing our energies so that we can help our families, we can help our, uh, our friends, we can help our, um, uh, we can fulfill the things that our ancestors were not able to see with their own eyes. Atan Zambi, uh, please summon our people, our ancestors to come to our lives. <coughs> summon your angels Zambi, to come to help us with this fight that is taking place in our lives that is, uh, that is uh, overwhelming our people, especially those who are, being, who are faithless right now. Give us understanding, give us <coughs> a way to overcome the enemy. Thank you, Dr. Zambi. We thank you. We praise you. In Geta, in Geta, in Geta. Thank you. <coughs> Oh, praises, brother. Thank you very much for this prayer. Hallelujah. So we have another brother that will pray for us, Brother Lemuel. Hallelujah. Captain Zombie, we come before you with humble hearts, open hearts, Help us to receive your direction and to follow your path of righteousness daily. Moment by moment, help us to acknowledge you in all of our ways so that you can direct us in the things that we need to do so that we can have ourselves prepared and ready to come together as one people, holy and acceptable in thy sight. We, we pray that you would go with us throughout this week, 
and that you would help us to understand these mysteries that are coming to us, things that we've never heard before. Help us to keep an open mind and a willing heart continually to do your will. Almost high, Tata and Zombie. We pray these things in the name of Yesaya Congo. Hallelujah. Ngita. 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 Ngo Kimbo. Hallelujah. Thank you very much, brothers and sisters. Love you so much. It was amazing to have you here today. Yes, don't be a stranger. See you very soon. the brothers in the supper in South Africa, even in Australia down under, tell all the buffalo soldiers prepare themselves for war. Cause when united we're stronger, divided we will fall. And when the running gets deeper, my love for Jack it gets deeper. Jaja is my guiding savior. I will sing out these praises forever. My father's land, my mother's land. That's where I want to be. I'm living down here in a Babylon, down here in captivity. My father's land, my mother's land. That's where I want to be. I am living down here in a Babylon. Down in captivity, in the night. We've got some brothers in the Canada, brothers and sisters in the England too. We've got some brothers in the Trinidad, got so many brothers I don't know what to do. We've got some brothers in a GP, all of the brothers in the writers too. You need your brothers in a Africa. The words of the prophet, man, it must go through. Oh, build the land, we build the land. That's where I want to be. To meet with the saints, giving thanks and praise. His imperial majesty. I saw a video of the family. They're coming out to me. He said, and then your brothers and sisters from the four corners of the earth. And if they're living in America, or even in my homeland, Jamaica, the brothers them that suffer in South Africa, even in Australia, down under, they all the buffalo soldiers, prepare themselves for war. Cause when united we're stronger, divided we will fall. And when the running gets deeper, my love for Jah it gets deeper. Jah Jah is my guide and savior. I will sing out His praises forever. Oh, build a land, sweet build a land. That's where I want to be. My father's land, my mother's land. Ooh, I've got some brothers in the Canada, brothers and sisters in the England too. We've got some brothers in the Trinidad. Got so many brothers, I don't know what to do. We've got some brothers in the GP. All of the brothers in the Rikers. Tonight, all my brothers in Africa. The words of the prophet, man, it must come true. Oh, build land. Sweet, sweet, build land. My family, love you so much. Bye bye. bye, bye. <laughs> See you next week. See you next week. Bye bye. 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 bye, -bye family. <laughs>